Campion School, which is on the outskirts of Northampton, and um, just look around us. I mean, it's a mixture of architecture. It's 1970s, 1990s, but it's just like a typical school. It's a well-performing school, but the school environment is, is just getting in the way of what they're doing. So what we've done is we've worked in the Learning Resource Centre to try and create a space that is 21st century space for, for 21st century learning, and I think we've achieved that. We've got the staff involved, we've got the pupils involved, um, we've got everyone doing things over the next few weeks. We were asked to nominate areas of the school that we felt uh, would benefit from a makeover and obviously being an English teacher and quite involved in the library I felt it was really, really important to obviously you've seen the learning centre and it's, it's not very effective and students don't use it as well as they could do so I thought I'll, I'll put it up for nomination and see what happens because they only had an hour to put their designs together and I couldn't believe the quality and the imagination that some of them had been able to produce in a short space of time. The architects and everybody's been able to stick with what the students wanted because they were very concerned that they'd, it will be completely different to what they'd asked and it isn't. They've got everything that they asked for. Just more modern and colourful and like a space where everyone could go, not just for lessons and reading. The things that you weren't really didn't like about the space? Or... It was a bit square and boring. A bit I old. guess we've got chewing gum on them. Bookshelves are really horrible and they're all untidy and they're all falling to pieces. And the colours are just horrible because no one wants to come in here because it just looks old. And, and like all the ceilings got all marks on it from when things have leaked through. And it's a bit, it makes it look mouldy. It, it smells quite fusty, which gives me the impression that it's not old. Uh, a bog standard library as it were, where little learning was taking place. Lots of students wanted to make use of the premises uh, with the IT facilities and so on, but as a genuine place where you can be creative in your learning, where you can just enjoy going in there, relax if necessary, uh, there was no way that, that could be accommodated in the old library. It was, in one sense, not a learning centre. It was a library where, if you're lucky, you could learn in it. I think the hallmark for me is versatility. Will it provide the versatility that the students wanted? Because they, they were actually challenged quite a lot by the professionals. Uh, and I was staggered by the quality of the response back from the professionals as well. They really did take on board what our students stood for. That has been absolutely brilliant and I'm um, really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. It's easy to have an amphitheatre for them to explain the lesson and then everyone can, everyone can go off and do it. And then we also thought of the idea of having like lots of round tables because when you want to do group work and because all the computers are in a line, it's quite hard. To see and if it's circular, you can work with everyone because you're facing people in your group. If you're in a surrounding you like, you could learn easier. It makes you want to be in a space that's really nice and like the colours that it is now, no one really takes no notice of it, but at least with colours like we've got, you want to be in a space like this because it's really nice and modern. You must be one of the longest serving members of staff for over 25 years and actually uh, started off the Learning Centre in 1990 and so when it first came down here it was two classrooms and a corridor area. We've been hoping for a, a refurb and a, and a makeover for some years so this is very exciting. I think the old-fashioned shelving did for and, and the fact that you couldn't move it, it it's where it is, it's stationary so it's, it, the flexibility will be with movable uh, shelving we can open the space out, we can have larger groups. Um, as a teaching space, it doesn't work. Uh, it's not effective. It's very difficult with the long benches of a computer. There's no central area to be able to explain tasks, discuss what you've got to do. It was one of the year eight boys and he said, it's mouldy. It's mouldy and it smells and I don't like going in there. And I only go in there because I have to get a laptop. And that's what made me realise that they shouldn't have that view of a learning resource centre or of a library, what is proposed to take place within a week. If we can get that done, it will be incredible. You know, you just wait for people to knock on your door and you, it'll never happen. You, you just got to be creative with what you've got. And in this case, it's actually encouraging the students to be creative as well. The overall environment within the room, I'm sure, will uh, significantly bolster our strategy for improving the school's learning and outcomes. I think the Probably the most exciting thing about this is the fact that it was a competition. We had four uh, students from this school actually enter the competition with some brilliant designs. Um, all of those designs have been turned into reality by the architects. We've got different spaces, we've got amphitheatre, we've got a quiet space, kind of Costa Coffee chill-out space, um, all at the heart of the school um, and all delivered in five days. 
Five days and some long nights. Exactly. Uh, and we've had a fantastic team, not only the team from the Northamptonshire Chronicle and Echo, we've also had our partners, Wilmot Dixon. And then I think what has been really touching about this project is the amount of local firms that have stepped up to the plate. Uh, you know, Parish Joinery, uh, Target Furniture, all of these kind of people, really proud of their work and actually wanting a showcase for their work, but wanting to support local school children as well. It's been fa fantastic. Uh, we're a bit nervous uh, because, you know, this, this sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Uh, and we hope this one works and isn't an absolute disaster. Can I just remind you, Ty, yeah. just what the head teacher just said? He said, I had this song going on in his head saying, I hate Mondays. <laughs> he said, it's the first Monday in weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah. He said, I'm really, really pleased that I'm actually yeah. here in the school on a Monday. Should we go and have a look? I'm pulling. I really like the um, curved bit where there's a little seating inside it and I really love this comfort It's so area, different so. because there's like all nice colours and everything's much better. And we just wanted a place where people could actually come because it used to be you used to just come in either for the computers or for books and we wanted somewhere where actually people could socialise and then we've got like a place where you can actually talk and then there's another place where you can read and be really quiet. I think it's absolutely amazing. I never thought it could look this nice. It's really, really good. Yeah. Thank you so much and I'm really grateful. They've done an amazing job. Never thought that they could create something like this. Not many students have the chance to get their own library and say, I did that. Well, we walked in and we thought, wow, what a wonderful space. It looks so much bigger. The different areas and all the different colours, it's going to be great. And the children cannot wait to get back in and uh, start yeah, yeah. made the green a real feature of the space. So not only does it form the backdrop to some of the areas, um, but what you might have noticed as well is that we have a green colour running through the building and it actually runs outside the building as well. So if you're walking around the school, this green is outside the building and it tells you this is where the heart of the school is now. And that's to provide um, an exciting, dynamic, flexible learning environment for students. That's what, that's what we're all about, that's what we all want to achieve. What we've achieved is fantastic, I think, you know, and it comes down to all the, the crew. Everybody's worked in very well, and I think everybody's thoroughly enjoyed it. The school were, uh, were kind enough to offer the facilities of having lunches here, so we were sort of engaging with the, the community, so it was a real sort of team effort. And, yeah, it's, I think everybody that's been involved has uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. reinforces that there, there are alternatives to building new large schools. It proves that it is possible to, to refurbish existing facilities. So this student left last year and she described it as manky <laughs> and I think that's being polite. I've got the lead councillor for education in Northamptonshire, councillor Andrew Grant. Uh, his only uh, prerequisite for us was can we do the job a little bit quicker? Uh, no, but in all honesty, um, what do you think of this new library here uh, at Campion? I, I'm amazed by the work you've managed to achieve in the timescale. Um, when you look round to the, well, compared to what it was before to what it is now, there's yeah. no relation to do the job in nine days is outstanding. One has to question whether in fact we should be using you more now on paid projects. These are the six formers who've got their own centre but now want to come in the library. That is a nightmare. <laughs> So. Do this, but with the rest of the school <laughs> around. Me. One of the kids turned around and said, Oh my god, this is like having a piece of your home at school. <laughs> I mean, it feels like we've nearly got the whole school in here this afternoon. Um, people's faces are fantastic, their reaction to this space. Uh, I think we've done a good makeover here. I think you've now got a great library, you've got a great learning centre. Uh, people can come in here for all sorts of things. Fantastic computer equipment over here and right at the heart of this library is a magnificent display of books and I think they've thought about how to present the books in a different way um, and I think you've got a 21st century teaching and learning area. Where's the middle? There. Right there. I'll just talk quite softly. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Whoever said the Romans didn't know what they were doing? I mean, that's exactly what we are about as a local authority, which is empowering people to take control of their own learning. If the people coming in for the first time have the same response as I did and say, wow, absolutely brilliant. There you go. Oh, there Christmas yeah, and birthday Chris rolled into one. Just the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's fantastic. Thank oh, you really? very, very much.